Alright guys, welcome back to LM Diesel and today we're at Chris Patterson's shop again and we're going to be putting on some go fast parts on my truck. But before that, let's take a look at what we got going on with the dually over here. He's gonna be unveiling these at Truck Jam. That sucker is wide. What do you think, Jake? Pretty decent. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. What do you think, man? I haven't even looked at it yet. I don't know. <laughs> it's a lot. It's got six. I'm pretty sticky. I never thought I'd see you mopping. Damn, yeah, man, it's too good to mop. Man, it's just a. Uh, it's a child play friendly uh, expression. Lazy, but. Lazy. You know what I mean. Alright, guys, so we're here at Unrivaled Diesel, and we got Jake, and he is about to start tearing into my truck, and me and Chris are going to as well. And Buddy, who's holding the camera. Thanks, yeah. Buddy, for holding the camera. You will. <laughs> oh. <laughs> is that nitrous? I don't know. I, had to I think I just got. Ghetto fog. That's cold. That felt nice. Can you come back? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, what we're going, what we got here to start with the mods that we're doing to the truck is a set of flux, 100% over injectors. Why did I go with flux? Well, first off, they're local. They're here in uh, the DFW area, which I like that. They have a three, five, and seven year warranty. I went with the three year warranty personally. Um, but you can get up to a seven year warranty with flux diesel and that's like unheard of in, with injectors in this industry. Not to mention, they burn ridiculously clean. I can show clip after clip of just pulls that Chris has done with his truck. There's no way it should burn as clean as it does, but it does. And on top of all that, they're affordable. So I paid 2,800 for these. It was great. We also got the uh, the new feed tubes as well. Gonna be putting these in. Very important. Whenever you do injectors, make sure you do your feed tubes. I also got a new fuel pressure relief valve because I have a rail plug. Please don't comment because I already know we're getting rid of it. So the truck over here, she's been sitting at Unrivaled Diesel for a while. And uh, she needs some love. She needs some love bad. Uh, just to kind of go over the setup, just in case this is your first time watching LM Diesel. We got an S4 72 83.90 turbo on a Steed Speed T4 manifold. Um, we have valve springs and push rods in here. Aftermarket intake horn. And then of course this big old aftermarket intercooler. Other than that, she's pretty much stock. So with the help of Chris and Unrivaled Diesel, we are going to be putting in a uh, built transmission in this thing, as well as all the fuel. All right, guys, let's get to work. Let's get all these parts in. I never say anything official. Take everything I say with a grain of salt. <laughs> I think what we'll do, we'll have Jakey Poo over here start yanking out the injectors and kind of rerouting the little grid heater wire thing or maybe just delete that and start putting the pump on, drain the coolant, change the upper hose, put the pump on it, you know, start getting ready for truck jam. We have like 12 days. 12 days. <laughs> you have no transmission. No transmission, no you fuel. Have stock fuel. No transmission, no fuel, and that. We're gonna see what we can do. We got turbos laying around. We'll see what happens. We'll be yeah, I'm thinking that 107. Right? <laughs> That's fine. Take that battery out. Let's put it over. There. <laughs> All right. So we're starting the injectors. 
Um, he's getting the uh, intake horn off for the dual CP3s, but uh, basically to start is you have to take the valve cover off, it's tins, the valve cover comes off, and then you have to take the wiring harness for the injectors off. Uh, it's just a bunch of eights that the little bolts that hold onto the injectors. Then you need to take the rocker box off, which it is a bunch of tins as well. Just so you can put a sight to it, this is the rocker box. This is the wiring harness, and this is the valve cover. Continuing on with our project here. So we had to get the grid heater off and we got all of the tubes to the ra from the rail going to the injectors off. We also got all the rockers, rockers off. Uh, you have to do that to get these off. So, so far it's been going not too bad. It's been, it's been pretty good. Uh, so now we just need to get the feed tubes out and then the injectors themselves out. And then we'll have some nice flexies going in. Okay. Been hard to work over here and we got the injectors out we have some delicious stock uh looks like a mix between bosch and maybe some cummins injectors we'll have to look closer to find out we got those out and uh to get those out just to kind of talk through it real quick um you need to get the rockers off and then all the feed to or all the feed lines and then the feed tubes and a couple other odds and ends Actually, it wasn't too difficult. Yeah, it was pretty straightforward. So, we're gonna get these new injectors in here in a second and do a little comparison just to look. These new injectors look so much nicer than that crap. So it has been a very eventful day here at Unrivaled Diesel. My GoPro died during the time lapse, but I'll just kind of catch y'all up here real quick. So we got everything, uh, at least on the valve train side, in. Um, we got the rocker arms in, bridges, all that stuff, injectors, feed tubes, all that stuff torqued uh, correctly. We still need to do the feed lines to the feed tubes, uh, but that'll be tomorrow. We got to get going. Uh, other than that, number three cylinder, the intake, or no, sorry, number two, you'll notice that one looks a little newer right there. Uh, Buddy figured out that the, uh, what is it called, the valve? I believe it's uh, called the rocker seat. I don't know, I would call it a rocker seat thing. It goes on top of the valve spring. Uh, yeah, bridge. rocker seat, basically it fell off. It's not supposed to do that. And so Chris had an extra one, and so we threw we threw that on there, so. All right, so it's day two at Unrivaled Diesel, and we are still working on our truck project here. Before we start putting all of our injector uh, feed lines in, I have this guy I'm about to put in. This is an Amazon special fuel pressure relief valve. Um, I'm trying this Amazon brand out because I'm kind of running a little low on funds to get this project done. So we're gonna see how well she works. Uh, so we'll start with this here. So we're gonna get this in and uh, continue on with just putting the whole thing back together. Back over here with the truck. Yesterday we got a lot done. Yeah, we, 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 we did a lot. So we got the new injectors in, flux, diesel 100% overs. We got things kind of cleaned out. We got the rockers uh, re-put in, torqued down. We got the injectors in. Um, the injector feed lines in, torqued down with the injector like tie down nut thing. The one on number six cylinder was slightly stripped, but Chris was able to get it in there without destroying it. So 
thank you to Chris for that. Um, so yeah, we're about to put this in and get the other bolts going. But uh, one thing to note, if you do buy new injectors, I had a, a rail plug here. And if you have that with new injectors, it will void your warranty. So you have to have some sort of relief valve if you're putting new injectors in. And with these flux diesel injectors, I like the warranty, so I don't want to ruin it. So I'll throw you all in the time lapse and let's just keep cooking. started to do a valve lash on this thing, right? And I dropped um, the little Allen into the intake manifold on accident. And I, when I was going to look to find it, I found something on number one cylinder. Do y'all see that? Yes, you are seeing correctly. That is a rag that somebody left in my intake manifold. And I have no idea how long it's been there. So, yeah. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is, now I just got all this tight with the uh, fuel lines. I'm gonna take it all off, and then we're gonna take this guy off and try to clean out that rag, because we cannot have any of that in there. So, hey, at least we found it. So let's, uh, let's get going on that. All right, so coming back in here, we got the fuel rail off, and we got the, uh, intake manifold cover off and we can get a nice look at our little rag right there so we're gonna rotate the engine see if we can't free it up a little bit and get it out I just can't believe that there is a yeah, rag it's, in there it's, 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 yeah it won't even come out <laughs> all right let's see if we can't free her up <laughs> dumb mechanics do it right. This is not supposed to go in the intake manifold. Gah. Okay, so uh, we got our rag out. That is a very big deal. But to get our rag out, we had to take this uh, kind of intake manifold cover off. And one of the things that can cause boost leaks is these, these metal gaskets that go in between this cover and the manifold itself. We just ordered a uh, paper gasket, basically a soft gasket, and that's gonna help to prevent boost leaks. Put this thing in the parts washer, cleaned it up pretty good. I know it doesn't look like it, but it's very clean. And we got that new stuff. And then of course we have our fuel rail that is all nice and clean-ish now too with our new fuel pressure relief valve. So we are going to put y'all on the time lapse and see if we can't get some of this stuff in. So, I didn't film it, or I didn't time lapse it, but we got our fuel rail back in. We have our uh, intake cover on, and we have all of, our, all of the valve lash done. So, we're going to start putting this whole kind of top end back together and start the truck up before we start with our dual CP3 setup, which will probably be in a different episode. But, anyway, throw you on the time lapse, and let's see if we can't get the this valve train covered up. Kinda got this put back together. Everything's hooked up, except for obviously the intake horn and the uh, valve cover. But I kind of want to watch my valves move as we do kind of a first fire. Make sure she runs, runs smooth with the new injectors in. So I'm curious to see uh, what happens. Fire extinguisher? 
I mean, I'm not. <laughs> not yet. Okay. Oh boy. I. Yep. I guess. Go for it. because it has a horrid tune on it right now okay well hey she starts she runs we got it on video all right y'all I appreciate y'all tuning into the vlog today we're gonna cut it off right here basically we got the injectors in the truck started up it ran great in the next episode we're going to be putting in the dual CP3 setup I just want to say again thank you to Chris Patterson thank you to Jake Thank you to Unrivaled Diesel for having me there and for helping me out so much with this build. There are more videos to come with this for sure. Um, but as of right now, uh, we got the injectors in. And you see it behind me. Uh, we're a little late with the upload, but uh, <laughs> she runs and she runs good. So make sure y'all keep up with the content because we got more stuff coming. So appreciate y'all and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.